Hi friends! Today I'm here to give you my wrap up for these Buka Thoughts. I'm a little late with this one. I think this book thought ended about two weeks ago. It's fine. It's all fine. I originally made a list of like five books that I wanted to read that were in my TBR. I finished reading two of those. Great job for me. Um, and one of them is very short and the other one's fairly short. I'm calling it a win. So the first book that I read was There's Something Out There by PJ Knight. This is the fifth book in the Creepover series and I gave this a four out of five stars. I am really enjoying this series as a whole. They are just short little mid-grade scary books but they are a lot of fun and I'm really enjoying them. Some are more scary than others. This one is a four on the Creepo meter. They have a Creepo meter on the back that kind of gives you an idea of how scary it's going to be. Some of these have where the scary thing is real and some of them have where the scary thing is not real and some have it where it's open to interpretation. So it's just a really fun series overall. And the second book that I read was Resurrection Girls by Ava Morgan and I ended up giving this a 3.75 out of 5 stars. This book is very reminiscent to me of Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tuholke in the sense that as I was reading it I couldn't decide if I loved it or I hated it because it was very weird. There were just a lot of things that kind of went on that was like what's happening right now? How is this possible? Um, it just, it's got like a thriller mystery type vibe to it, which you're not really expecting it to have. So it was very interesting that it had that and then trying to figure out what was going on. There was a little bit of a supernatural element to it. The supernatural aspect of it, I feel, could be easily guessed if you are familiar with Greek mythology or um, some neo-pagan ideas. So for me, it was kind of like, okay, I figured this out pretty early on. But if you're not familiar with those aspects, then it would be more of a mystery for you. But the book was still real weird, but also really good. I think one of my favorite things from reading this was the writing in general. I really liked Ava's writing style. One of my favorite quotes from it was, it wasn't the pills she was addicted to, it was the grief, the simultaneous struggle to clutch her pain to her chest as she once had my brother and to push it as far away as possible, as though by gaining distance from his loss, she could make it less real. This book deals with, which I originally thought this book was just about like two girls that were writing letters to you guys on death row and that was a cool premise to me. Somehow in my getting an arc of this I missed the whole aspect that the main character's family is recovering or not recovering rather from the loss of her brother three years prior so that it's a huge theme in this book and I guess so not knowing going in with that not necessarily surprised by it because it was one of the very first things they started talking about but I hadn't expected it to be that dark and to have that much going on as far as death of a child. It's definitely an instance where I wish I had been a little more prepared for that topic but overall I think it added to the story really well and again, I did enjoy the story, um, even though were, there were some really weird aspects to it. So those were the two books that I read for the Spookathon. Let me know in the comments below what you read for the Spookathon. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!